this open. Oi, nobody's nicking my key, but if you find the treasure vault, I'll split you 80-20. That's even worse. Thanks. Bleeding Nora, where's my key gone? This seems like something I'd have to roll up. Oh, hello. Search for the treasure vault also. If you happen to discover information as to its location, I'll split the spoils with you 50-50. Hey, now there's a deal I can get behind. 50-50 is not bad. At all. That is pretty fair. Fair is fair. Fair is fair. Now if somebody offered me more than that, I don't think there's anything else out here. I stole the key. It should be good. <laughs> If that guy had a key, is he the only one who actually knows where it is? I'm gonna grab these quills. Is this a... I don't know. <laughs> I thought it was like an entryway to something. It's just a dark corner. Hey, Shovel Knight's here! Hey buddy, how's it, how, how's, how's it hanging? Do things hang on you? I arrived just in time. This guy gets about, doesn't he? I hope he's not expecting a share of our profits. In my latest quest for treasure, I've uncovered this mighty vault containing vast fortune. Unfortunately, a group of swine knights have each claimed a key to the treasure, but their hearts are not yet pure enough to work together to achieve victory. Help me obtain their keys, young lizard, and together we can show them the true ways of the knight. Is there a pagey amongst that loot, Shovel Knight? Indeed, work with me, and we'll split this treasure evenly. Thou can have a pagey, and I'll set her for the vast piles of gold. That sounds like a great deal of nonsense. Lately, sure thing, Shovel Knight. <laughs> we'll talk some sense into those pigs. Here's how to claim one of the keys. Scoffs a lot is normally focused on chowing down. If thou were to charge his belly, I'm confident he would drop his key. So each of them has a key. Interesting. Um, I thought only the thief guy did, but okay. So I need to get a key off each of them. Well, he gave me the answer to scoffs a lot. I have no idea how to do the other two, though. He pooped it out. I can feel my stomach rumbling. Must be time for a leave elevensies. I thought this was a cave entrance too. These craters are getting the best of me. Um Is there a reason I need water? Is one of these guys not a fan of water? No. Rumor has it there's a great treasure hidden on this island. If you have a full 40 to 60. Well, I have no idea how to get that guy's key. I do, however, know that I can get this. Ah! <laughs> how can I never get that on the first try? I always just like run into the balloons in the next scene while I'm on the ground. 
Got it. Okay, so all these hanging treasure chests are gonna be these separate pages. I'm the third pagey piece. One more to go. So she doesn't like water. Well, I wet her down, but it didn't do anything. I didn't get any key out of it. The water has to be for her. It even it, it played a, a sound, right? <laughs> I'm not crazy. Am I trying to get her to like slip and fall off of her horse? Shovel Knight, <laughs> I need your help. <laughs> I can't do this on my own. I'm only one mare. No, you... Go back in there. Do the fish stick. And then talk to Shovel Knight. Hopefully... He can give me some insight as to the other two. What's the next target? To obtain a key from Leap a lot, that will have to employ more finesse. To penetrate that armor, try rusting it with water, followed by a deafening war cry. Got it. That makes total sense. I had a feeling, like when it was doing like the sound effect for it. I was like, do I gotta like follow it up with something? So I would have eventually gotten there, but thank you, Shovel Knight, for saving me uh, some failed attempts. So let's hop up here. Wet. Bam. Pooped it out. Hey, what's the pig idea? Thank you. Okay, how do I get the key off the last guy? Because I don't even have an inkling of what direction I should go with him. Because he's uh, he's he's not doing nothing. Yo. Shoots a lot is tough old dog. That will require my legendary trifecta attack of tail twirl, buddy slam, and then sonar explosion. Yo. Such things matter not to a knight of pure heart. I've always had an excellent singing voice. He's got an answer for everything. So I have to tail swipe him, ground pound, and then sonar explosion. I think like tail swiping this guy is like the one thing I didn't try. It's just like basic attacking him. But, oh well. We got it now. Wait. Oh. Try that again and you'll find yourself on the wrong end of my deadly bow. Joke's on you, you're shooting plungers. So unless you shoot my toilet, you ain't gonna do much. So that gets me all the keys, I think. I hope. Unless there's a pick that I didn't find or see. Strong work, knights. You have all the keys. Our teamwork has paid off. Let's open this mighty vault. There we go. There's some quills in here, too. Excellent work, knights. Now I know who I call if I'm ever in trouble on another adventure. 
Um, I don't think ukulele is going to be showing up in too many more games besides their own. Call it a hunch. Well, I think they actually have made some cameos in some indie games, but... Nothing like... Groundbreaking, I suppose. Alright. So, we have... That island over there that we can now explore as well, but it seems like this tube isn't working. Or is that just telling me the bridge is not working? It's just saying the bridge is not working. <laughs> I took like the X signs as like, don't go this way yet. Like I had to do something to fix it. Um, okay, let's head up this way. Hello. Blurp. Hello there, strangers. Are you interested in my galaxy famous star fishing? Trademark. <laughs> I'm not sure we've played that sport. How does it work? Cast your eyes above. Out here on the solar seas, we like to fish for falling stars. I'm sure you'll agree it's a peaceful and civilized sport. I've dedicated my days to this pastime ever since I escaped the bad days. That sounds ominous. It does. Falling stars, eh? Want to give the star fishing a go? Catch more than 15 in time limit and I'll give you a prize. But avoid the red stars, they'll count against you. Sure, we'll give it a go. Blurp, excellent. Get ready to cast your rod out. Yuka's better with his tongue, to be honest. Than my rod. Go! Do I... Hold up. Hold up. Excuse me. Okay. I do actually use my tongue. I was getting my buttons confused. I'm sorry. I'm the worst. Why would you... <laughs> it's like, yeah, I'm gonna go for this red one off-screen that you don't see. Like, why? Dang! That wasn't much time at all. Alright. We, we, we got this this time. I, I will not get my butts confused. And I will not eat red ones off screen. So now, if I eat a red one off screen, it's gonna be real embarrassing. Man, they are like all over the damn place. I'm trying not to get close to any of these red ones. I mean, I already have 15, but, you know. Overachiever. Alrighty, let's see how you did. You beat my PB. I was going to turn the sparkly guy into an origami lure, but I did say you could have it. Excellent tongue work. Do you even fish? We've been watching for a while and you've not caught a thing. I normally just open my mouth and hope they fall into my gob, but maybe I'll give your tongue technique a try. I mean, you are a frog. Um, might be worth trying. Um, okay. Nothing much else over here that I can see. Fun little mini game there. Why is there so many enemies back here? Like having a meeting. Clubhouse. Clubhouse of assholes. Down here. Oh god. <laughs> finding you is worse than finding Rextro. Didn't expect to see you in the space book. Greetings, fella. After losing all my gems in that there casino, I came out here to mine some gold. I wonder how that panned out. I say, why don't we take advantage of this low gravity and go for a ride? How does your cart even handle space physics? Don't ask me, I just work here. Let's hit them rails. Y'all need 175 gems on this ride. Um, 175, okay. So either this is going to be long, or it's going to have a lot of ways to loop back to the beginning. 
Oh my god, there's low gravity. He wasn't kidding. That's awful. I hate this already. <sighs> Dude! Okay, so I'm gonna have to get used to this low gravity thing. I should have gone for that gold one. Oof. Man. Like, I'm almost afraid to boost. <laughs> or you could just fall off, you know. What the dickens? Okay, yes. Let's try again. Um. Oh my god. Okay, so I can still break in midair. Which is weird. And boost in midair. So with the space physics, that makes things a little bit more interesting. Definitely makes things harder. tried to slow down in midair and I realized my dang thing was on cooldown. Okay. Got it. Time that. Very well. I don't know if I wanted to go up here. <laughs> I definitely did not want to boost straight into that, but hey, here we are. Okay, so once again, it's trying to... Oops, C D U Z. It's trying to get me to use braking and thrusting in midair and using it to my advantage. I think these gold gems are worth more, no? Why are they easier to get? I, I saw all those gold gems up there. If I had gotten those, I might have actually gotten it. Okay. There are ways I could improve that run, definitely. Oh, I got exactly 175. Oh my god. Dang. I could not ask for better luck at the moment. I have to admit, right away, y'all has rekindled some golden memories. Yes siree, these rides have been almost good enough to break my all-time top 100. It's been fun, Cardos. We hope you make it into the next game. They wouldn't dare cut a darn toot and support character like me. It's true. They wouldn't. I'm pretty sure Cardos makes an appearance in Impossible Air. Just saying. Um, okay. So that's those pathways explored. Now we have this pathway. Oh, hey, I finally found you. Hey, we've not seen you before. You're not a baddie, are you? That depends. Who's asking? We're the heroes. You might recognize us from the box art. You're the guys tracking those golden pages, huh? I think I can help you out. I saw what looked like a pagey up there. 
way up there on that turd? Whoa, that's a long way up. Yeah, you'll need some serious equipment to get up there unscathed. My shield is damaged so I can't go myself. Laylee has her own built-in shield, perhaps we can help. Yes, perhaps you can. Ever heard of the Blamphibians? They're a dangerous bunch you wouldn't want to mess with, and they're building a secret weapon up on that planet. Luckily, I know of a weakness. If you can make it up there, they built in a self-destruct sequence in case someone stole their planet. Very sensible. That's what I would do. I can destroy the force field on the fly shaft that can take you up there, but I can't get past these shields to get close enough. We need to work together. I'll weaken these shields for you. You find a way to take them out, then I can join you on the other side. Okay. Is this like a... That's how you do it, now destroy the rest. So I don't have to do these all at once, right? It's not like a time limit here. Ah! Ow. Didn't realize these were so slippery. Dude. There we go. The shields are down. Safe to come over. Good job. We make a great trio. Space Force to be reckoned with. Uh, I suppose. I guess. I mean, we just met you. Good work so far, but we're not done. I'll unlock this door so you can go up and find that self-destruct switch. It's in the trench. Is this gonna be the boss? I get a bad feeling about this. Going up to a giant turd in space. Not among my top 10 things I would like to do. Okay, more quills. Oh, this definitely looks like a boss. Uh, um, we're going around. Whoop. I'm in. Use the force of spin dash, Yuka. Well, I'm using it. Got it. <laughs> Just blow my ass up. Huh. Oh, there we are. And a pagey. Wow. All worked out better than I thought. Did you see that? I was like, wham, and the planet was like, boom, and Yuka was like, you did good. The assault on the Blamphibian homeworld can begin. What's going on, Lily? I thought we were stopping an attack, not starting one. Yeah, well, that's the funny thing about war. Sometimes you get convinced to do things that you aren't really sure what you're doing until you're doing it. They're weakened. Now's my chance to go after their... <laughs> yeah, she's a... She's a real good guy. You know what I'm saying? So we just blasted that disc way down there then. Does that open up a new area for me, or is it just like a giant floating disc now over there for funsies? Whoa, I didn't even realize I could climb like up this thing. What the heck? Oh, I guess I never did really go up from here. Kind of just went down that way. There's stuff up here. Another one of those power switches that I have no idea what to do with. Oh, I don't have fire breath. I have fire resistance. Ugh. Okay. I'm gonna grab these quills. Oh, I can actually go inside this thing? I had no idea. Inside Rusto. Oh. 
Would you look at that? Interesting. Okay, so now I know what to do with those. I didn't even see a battery in the other uh, area at all. Okay, so then if I if I get fire, I can go in here and then make this thing blow hot air. Another easy pagey. But there's still quills all over this guy. I feel like that's. Was that all that there is to do here? Hmm. Well, if I run out of, like, quills, or if I am missing quills by the end of this world, I'll know where to look. I don't see any more on this guy, but guess you never know. So it did kind of create a platform to get over there. Interesting. Hmm. Okay. Well, I don't think I have anywhere else to really explore yet. Right? Kind of, ooh, I did not want to do that. I didn't, I didn't want to do this. I didn't. This isn't what I wanted. Alright. Well, I'm safe now, so I can roll up here and figure out what I'm trying to do with my life. <laughs> Outhouses? All right. There's someone in here. Is there someone out there? Help. Uh, hello, what seems to be the problem? Thank goodness, it's the right mess in here. The plumbing's had it and I'm on the verge of a serious problem. Yeah, because how can we help? If you need to use the facilities, you'll have to go down below and fix the plumbing. Be quick though, this cabin is almost out of stock and all I've got left is a golden piece of paper. Can you wash it afterwards? We're collecting those. Lately, we'll be as quick as we can sir. Just hold on. Thanks a bunch fellas, hold on, I'll get the door for you, I've got the remote. You want us to go fix the plumbing? I'm not sure how I feel about that. What is this? I call it a hunch, but I feel like I can knock that toilet off. <laughs> okay. Into the sewers we go. Or plumbing, I guess, rather. Space plumbing. The best. What kind of crap are we going to get into now? Ew. It's literally poop. And it hurts us. So I need to use my force field. Um, rolling. There we go. I get my L, L's and R's confused. Does this just flush it again? Dude, give me some space, man. And don't wake that guy up. No, let's me go back to the beginning. Oh, I can lizard lash it. Well, what's further down this pipe, then? before I lock myself out of it. Look at all this. Another way to get back, eh? Um, I was about to say, I feel like this won't flush yet. Yeah, I need to find a way to push this down. Hmm. 
Okay. Didn't see the poop there. There we go. Okay, so that's one pipe in place. And now we just need to get the... Uh... Oh god, this place would be great to put secrets in, but... I know they probably don't have secrets in here. Just pull this on here real quick. Whoa! And then we could go back over here and see if it actually flushes. Sounds good. Yes, it's flushing. I'm saved. Nice. <laughs> Always love a good poop puzzle. I feel like there would be secrets in here. Am I crazy for thinking that? Maybe. Ah, oh, well. I, I'm not gonna waste time trudging through poop literally to try to find secrets that may or may not be there. Might be a waste of time. Okay. How are you doing in there? Much better, thank you. You really earned your reward. I've had a second wind and we'll be here in a while longer though. Thanks, hope it goes well for you in there. Poop puzzle. Solved. Oh, this looks interesting as well. Something like dropping over here. Oh, woo! <laughs> I got it. <laughs> Don't know what that's all about. I think that's a switch over there. Yeah. Okay, what does this do? Oh, okay. Oh. Do I have to get this guy to charge down in there? Or to spin down in there? No, he goes around it. Whoa! Um, okay. <laughs> Do I like... Oh, I did it! Hold on. Ow! I can't touch it. <laughs> um, God, if I touch this thing once, I'm dead. I'm gonna try my best to try to finagle it over to that hole. <laughs> This is interesting, but it's made much, much worse by the fact that I have such low health. Don't. God. The controls for rolling are like, just weird. But I think it's just based on the fact that like, you do some wide ass turns when you roll. I did not mean to do that, sir. I'm sorry. It won't happen again. I'll grab my page and I'm leaving. Okay. Let's see what's up in here. Is this the boss fight? I know there's a boss. I know there's going to be a fight. I don't know where it is, though. But anytime I go into, like, a big door, I feel it coming. Space Cog Station? What? 
Do these things hurt me? No, they don't. Okay. Oh my god. Okay. Um. Discovery. The blue ones pull you in. Or the green ones. It's like an obstacle course, man. Can I not touch the ground? Is that the challenge here? Interesting. Okay. I was unaware of like why it was difficult because I was just like breezing through it. But then once I got cocky, that's when I lost it. Why is there grenade things down here? It makes me nervous. Now that I know, I can't touch the ground. That makes things a lot more stressful. So, my worst enemy is that green one. That's the one I just gotta be careful about. Otherwise, this should be too difficult. Yeah, I just gotta jump around that one. pretty fun. I am still a bit confused as to why there's grenade things in here, but you know, whatever. Hmm, okay. Man, no boss fight yet either. That's, that's uh, interesting. I, th I would have guessed that I would have ran into it by now at some point. Oh my god, am I just dead? Nope. I am very much alive. What's on top of this thing? Secrets. No? Nothing. <laughs> Here I was thinking I was being clever. Alright. Um. Man, I've been like just about everywhere, no? Hmm. I had a dream it would end this way. I thought I was seriously dead there by falling off the edge. What is that? That looks like a crater with a big ass. <laughs> I'm not even joking. Like, that's a whole nother level. I don't see anything. I've visited most places. Oh, you know what? That's probably the boss over there. I guarantee you, you fight the boss as a ship. I didn't even see this cloud motherfucker over here. What's he doing? Oh, he probably wants to race me as a boat, yeah. Okay, so we got a lot to do as the boat, basically. Is what I'm getting from this. Um, what are we at for this world? 14 out of 25, so 11, 11, 11 yeft. One which is Quills, one which is Ghost Riders. Um, one which is Rextro. I haven't done him yet. Hmm. Lots of quills over there. Excuse me. This thing. I'm still confused. Um, with this world. Or this prison room. Because there's apparently like battery power-ups. But where's the battery? I don't see a battery anywhere. I hear it. Yeah. 
See, and that's the strange thing. I hear a battery power up. Like, I hear the electricity. There's no way. I just didn't even look at this barrel, and that's what it is. <sighs> I'm gonna murder this entire game. I need ice, not fire. Jeez Louise, dude. How did I miss that barrel off to the side? I should have just gone back and looked at it. <laughs> of course. One health, jump onto him and jump off an edge, and next thing you know, I land blindly onto an enemy's head. That sounds about right, right? Okay, so. That's another page for the books, but I'm actually going to cut it there so that this recording doesn't end up too long. I am going to probably be recording more today, but uh, I don't want this recording ending up like hours long and then it takes like a million years for my video editor to process, so I'll be cutting it there. Thank you guys so much for watching these episodes of Let's Play Ukulele. This has been your host, Asperger Wini, on this channel. Bye-bye.